All right, John, we're up at the front of this model G930B grader here, and I want to talk about a couple things on that front end that differentiate this machine versus the competition. First off, you're going to notice the axle stop. The front axle oscillation stop uh, is way outboard here as opposed to down inside uh, by the frame itself. Okay, so what does that do, Gary, having it out here instead of up there? Well, this is an extra touch that Volvo puts in the grader to put this axle oscillation stop out about 14 inches from the center pin. All the competition has their axle stop in here just a short distance from the pin itself. And a lot of times the motor grader will actually go in and out of a ditch. It'll be running on, on one front wheel. I've seen that. Which we're, we're maxed out right here. When that axle stop is way outboard here, it takes a lot of wear and tear off of that center pin. So you get a lot of life on that center pin and takes a, a lot of strain off of that bearing and the whole structure itself. So this carries more of the load instead of the center pin? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. That's, that's a key uh, feature right there. Also, and we'll talk about this in another uh, section here, the Volvo Grader has more forward weight bias, which gives you more weight over the front end for better steering control and also a, a deeper cutting capability and more directional control. Okay. You can take a bigger cut with this greater than a competitive unit. So you talk about steering control, what does that mean if a guy's pushing and he's got a big load or a good load on the blade? Yeah. What does that mean? What will it keep? Well, here's the thing. Most of the time a grader is working material from the right or the left right. and rolling it to the side. That means there's a lot of side draft on that grader itself and the more weight you have will allow you to keep directional control uh, uh, better right. and allow you to take a bigger cut and still maintain uh, your steering capability. Okay, well Gary, that brings me up to another question that everybody always asks me. Which direction should I lean my wheels when I'm making a cut? It's going to vary depending on the application that you're running, but generally speaking, you lean the wheels in the direction that the material is coming off the blade and that counteracts the side thrust. But I will tell you that now with, with the big radial tires, right. you don't have to lean the wheels nearly as much as you used to when we're running on bias ply tires. You've okay. got tremendous traction up here. And having more weight up front gives you that better steering control. So you don't have to lean the wheels as much. Your tires will last longer. Oh, those are good points. Thanks a lot, Gary. You bet.